Hey, it's Tom, and I'm back with another rating climb video. I have the goal of reaching 2000 on chess.com. I'm currently 1509. I'm going to play a 10 plus 5 game and analyze it. I hope you enjoy. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's see if I can find an opponent. And if you're new here, the chicken cam is uh, just a, something to kind of entertain you while I think. So we have a 1433. And I will play the good old Karo Khan. I will say I don't really love the Karl Khan. I just happen to know the most theory because that's what I started with um, when I started playing chess. And I started playing with the Karl Khan, and we get a fantasy variation, so we obviously take an e4, go e5. And the reason uh, I played this is because when people play e4, they often have all these lines planned out and I didn't want to fall into like a bunch of opening prep. And when you play the Karl Khan, your opponent kind of has to play the Karl Khan. And so then it takes them into your opening prep, hopefully. So, all right. So this is a strange move. Um, it's a very strange move. I think I can go here and just attack the pawn. This is, I don't think this is theory. Maybe it's a different line that I don't know. I think I see the point, but maybe not. Let's see what opponent has in mind here. So normally, so I don't know if this is a, an attempt to make it so I can't develop my bishop, but with no f pawn to block this bishop, I can still defend it. Or I can still develop it. So they have to do something here. Or just simply move the queen, which is fine with me. They can then castle. Pretty good. Then I'll go here. Okay. I'll go here now. Oh, you know what? Back here. I think I could have taken and then taken. So I wonder. I don't think I can do it now. But what if I go take, queen takes, knight over here, bishop moves. Take. They can push here. Let's try it. Okay. Now I can go here, push this heap on. Let's do this. Now I have to worry about this knight here. That doesn't make any sense. 
Should bring this back though. That now threatens the fork again. Could take one of these, but it also protects this knight. Well, I'm worried about this. I think the opponent should have done that last turn because they're threatening checkmate right here. And so if they'd gone there, it would have been trouble. Now, if I take here, they can take there. I think I get the same issue. No, because then I'm defending. If they take, I take. If they push, I move my queens out of the way. I don't know. This is too complicated already. I feel like I'm one move away from safety here. Being up a piece. I think that works. So I castle takes or takes, doesn't matter. Takes. Yeah, I just have to castle. You see my audio is working, let me make sure. Hello, yeah. So I really hope to win this game. That'd be good. The, it's, <clears throat> I don't, uh, I think it's surprising because I think people hear the fantasy variation is the best way to play against the Karl Khan. But you really have to know how to how to play it. Um, and I think this is a good example of why. Uh, because if your opponent knows what you should be doing, then they can usually find a way to exploit that. Now, I'm not saying I played this perfectly because I do think I allowed e5 and I probably would have lost a piece back. And I'll have to look at that uh, before the game or after the game. Uh, but I th it was obvious that my opponent wasn't playing it uh, optimally, which helped me. So now I'm looking at what my opponent can do. Uh, obviously, this move is still on the table, although to much less effect. Maybe I'll go back there. Seems like the only good square. So I can go here. No, I can't. What am I saying? I can go here. Oop. Here. Takes. Takes. Well, that's just a stupid move. What about here? Does it matter if I undefend this bishop? That's the question. So if I go here... Opponent takes here, I have to take here. They can take there. So yes, it does matter. If I go, if I force the issue, what if they drop back? What if I just move this knight right now? Go here. So what's my main problem? My main problem is being pinned here and here. Can I solve it easily? Ok, 
I think h6 is fine. So if I go h6, he pushes, I go here, he can push again, I can take. I, I think h6 just to kind of relieve some of this tension in the middle. Oh no, what am I saying? Okay, so I lost the piece back. So what do I do now? Don't hang upon. Let's not hang upon. I guess I wouldn't have hang, hung upon. The going here was better, I think. Let's take this pawn. I know it. F7 is kind of tender, but I don't think there's a way to exploit it immediately. Bishop would have to come back, and then I can go back. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? My opponent's probably like... Okay, okay. I can still win. I can still win. Let's do this. All right, super focus. How do I bank rank my opponent? Make another blunder. Let's do this. No, that's dumb. Blunder a rook. Or a pawn, at least. This is just a disaster. Just not thinking enough, not thinking about what my opponent can do. I don't have any, I don't have any good threats. Just bad. Okay. I'm too much in my own head here. Let's try this. Okay. Threatening checkmate. That's pretty good. I hear checkmate is good. Well, I mean, it's not threatening checkmate. It is threatening checkmate. That's a bad move. That's a really bad move. I just don't see a way to to trick my opponent. Like thinking like, how do I... <laughs> like even if I go back, the bishop just comes back and now there's triple pressure on f7. I could push the pawn. That's so stupid. It's like, oh, that's such a dumb move. I feel like all, all I can think of are bad moves. Okay. Regroup here.
I'm gonna move my king so maybe I can push f5 takes back rank <laughs> this is just so bad oh that doesn't even work anymore it's like a so much pressure on f7 I'm just going to move my king so that way I'm playing for like to trick my opponent somehow. But I'm moving my king so that way this doesn't come with check. They can take the pawn. And then I and it forks my key. Okay. Interesting. Just played so poorly. It's upsetting. Oh, there's no, not even a way to trick him. Nothing I do really matters here. Yeah. Just bad. Just a bad game. 40%. What is going on? here so these are all blunders okay oh so i had that queen dude i i've been through this i've been through this it wasn't the same position but when they played the move like c3 instead of this bishop move uh, i've been through this okay so that's a blunder too. Uh oh, just going right in. Yeah, so I have to look at this uh, line. Oh, and this is actually better for white. So my idea wasn't good out of the opening. None of this was good. See, this is where I thought I allowed. What's it saying? Yeah, I thought I allowed e5. That's what it's saying is the best move. So now the danger is over. And then I reignite the danger. So I'm supposed to. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this comes with check. So that was a good move. Why didn't I play that? I didn't, my, I'm not thinking. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play one more. This is depressing. You know how it is. You, you play a terrible game, you wanna play another one. Let's play another one. Um, let me get the camera back here. Hopefully this video is not too long. white pieces this time. Oop.
Oops, sorry about that. Bump the microphone. Okay, so Queen's Gambit declined. Go for a Catalan. Okay, so we get a 15.55. So it'd be nice to win. Obviously, it's always nice to win, but got to get back above 1,500. That's where I belong. G3, uh, throwing my opponent for a loop here. Most people, I'm sure, are used to some uh, tricks where you bring the knight out, do this, get the pawn back with the bishop. So a lot of uh, players will try to... Okay. So this is a line. Um, I don't really, I mean, the bishop being right here, it does misplace my bishop. I'm not going to pretend like it doesn't, but it's also like not that big of a deal. And I think that this is significant to someone who's like a grandmaster. <laughs> but at the 1500 level, I don't know if anyone could exploit the fact that my bishop's right here. Maybe we'll find out that my opponent can. Let's do that. Let's find out. So they're fee and ketoing their own bishop. I'm going to take right here. It's also strange because now there's no, um, usually getting the bishop right here, you want to find a way to come attack this pawn, this weakness that you created, but no, uh, no attacking that weakness here. Queen c2. It's a good square, typically, this setup uh, supports the e4 push. But also, I can sometimes get pressure right here if I swing this rook over and, you know, maybe have some tactics available. D5. Is that a good move? So my first thought is that it weakens this b5 square, so I can put my knight there to protect this pawn dump like a couple times. I have this move. I'm always getting in trouble jumping my knights around. Taking here is an option, but then it just develops their bishop, so it's a, I don't think it's a good option. They did get rid of their weakness there. Jumping in right here. What does that do? Nothing. I have this e3 move. I have to do anything threatens to go here that's not a big deal I don't think to take take that's not a big deal either Let's just get this bishop out here
Er Elise Finland Finland's Prague flag Prague Finland's flag looks like a Christmas present. So I see you. I see you night. Problem is I don't want to play this move. But do I have to? I certainly don't want the knight coming in there. It's just that I, I had ideas of playing this move to prevent this or when that happens. Let's just prevent the knight from coming in. Now they can take, take, and plant the knight here. Which is pretty good. That's what I would do. I think. Good move by the opponent there. Okay, so... Lots of pressure down this file here. Time for e4. Takes. Takes. I like e4 because it clears out the e2 square for my queen as well. So here's the thing, e4 takes, takes. Play e4. Gotta get my queen over there, I think. Then I'm kind of eyeing this knight that's just chilling over there, also. So keep that in mind. Can try to overload the bishop. I think the opponent maybe has to take here. Yeah, okay, so. Let's take here. Oh, what am I doing? I'm doing it again. Just blundering. Why? I don't know, maybe this is not as bad, but why am I playing like this? There's no reason, there's no excuse for this. It's not seeing the board the way it should be. Now I feel like I have to take here. I don't know why I played another game. Historically, when I'm when I'm seeing the board like this, it's not a good idea to play another game.
just going to develop uh, my pieces. And try to try to play better. I don't know, maybe your opponent's going to go g5. I have this move. Is that good? No, probably not. The only reason I like it is because then I can move my knight without having to trade my bishop off. So if I go here, 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 maybe something like this. I don't know if that's best, but... Do I have anything? I don't know. What if I take here? Wait a minute. So I can't move my bishop out now. But what if... So if I go here, protecting this, the queen has to move. The only place it can go is right here to protect this piece. Oh, they just hung their bishop, actually. But I can't take it. And it just so happens that the same square the queen has to go back to to protect the other bishop is the same one to protect that bishop. But. Hold on a second. So if I go here. Back. Takes. Lose. Takes. I don't see how takes could be bad, but we'll see. Maybe my opponent sees how takes could be bad. Let's start there. Let's see if we can get the queen somewhere to take advantage of the fact that it lined itself up with the bishop. If we can find a way to, to get tempo on this queen and then take the bishop, then I'm happy. Interesting. Wait. What is going on here? Takes, takes. No, can't do that. Wait, no, I can't do that. So I could take, go here, attack the pawn and the bishop. Bishop takes. I don't know. None of this looks any good. 
I just like the idea of here because then I can skewer these two pieces. But maybe Rook takes here. I'm getting lower on time. I'd like to stay up on time if I'm going to have any a chance against this opponent because I think it's easy to it's easier to blunder in low time, so maybe maybe they do. Although I'm typically the one doing the blundering in low time. Okay, so what should the opponent play? They should obviously take this pawn, but how? Probably the bishop. I feel like that... Maybe even... The, so the bishop or the knight, because this bishop's not really doing anything. Okay. So the rook takes. Looking at this, that's not good. So if I take here, then they can take there. I can go here. Wait, if I go here. My knight's in the middle of nowhere. So if I go here and they don't take... Let's just swap this rook off real quick, because if they don't take with the bishop, then I have a different move. And if they do take with the bishop, I can play this move. Maybe. Okay, so now I have this. I have to go back to protect the bishop. I take advantage of that. Now my rook is lined up with the queen. What can I do? Actually, I can't do that because they, they can take here. I mean, they can do it, but it's not any good, I don't think. That night going. Let's see this. Just so I can move my knight and not have to trade bishops, because I don't want to trade any pieces. And maybe I'll jump my knight in right here. Wow, really? What does that do? I don't think that was a good move, but what do I do about it? Queen has to go there, right? I could trade my rook for two pieces. So if the queen goes there, what happens if I go here? He can just take... No, he can't, because then he loses his queen. I take the knight. And, uh, uh, we're tied for material. How many pieces are you going to pin to your queen? None of the... This can't be good. This cannot be good. <laughs> what is going on? So I can take here and take here. And I wouldn't... Wait, no, I can't. There's no way this is good. But how? Why? Oh, ah, for the love of God.
This is bad. I don't think what my opponent's doing is right, but I just made a huge blunder. Yeah. Or did I? Okay, even now material. Although now you can take a pawn. But does that trap the knight? No, it doesn't trap the knight, but. I took a pawn, but now I can take a pawn, which arguably is a more important pawn. Wait, I, uh, oh, okay. All right, so now it's on. Um, how do I protect my pawns by attacking? Here, here. Move here. Okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Did I have a way to stop that? Just playing like garbage today. Let's see where we went wrong. Okay, obviously e4 was a mistake. Blundered a piece. Wait, what was the move here? Queen e6. So just taking the queen. I don't know, that doesn't sound very good. This whole thing. I, I just can't even believe these are like okay moves. And then I'm, I mean, I blunder, or opponent blunders more, but he blunders the piece back, which I was lucky about, or for. But then I did, so I did see that the opponent could take here, and I thought about going here. So let's see. That, that is the best move, but then I got to go back. Yeah, so it's just mate and four. So I just had to go here to escape. Honestly, not even on my radar. And this wasn't like... This wasn't like a, a bad... This isn't very complicated. I should have seen this. I'm I'm too focused on the the queen side here. And getting my pawns up the board and how do I do that and all this stuff. Just not even thinking about not even thinking about this mate here. Is my king safe? Most important thing, you know. 
Kudos to my opponent, though. Good game. Um, he's clearly been hurt before. So if e4 wasn't the move here, h3. I don't know if I would have played h3. What does that do? Just stops the knight from coming over here. Or bishop h3. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I saw this a little bit too late. Okay. All right. Well, that's it for this one. I will see you in the next video.